Okay, very excited. We are unboxing and setting up the Burma Shield, which is the old Ballista Packs bulletproof backpack. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. Right away, I can feel it's, it's heavy duty for sure. I ordered it without um, body armor because I own body armor. So I didn't feel it was necessary. Uh, it feels like it has body on there in it. We'll get a weight on this thing in a second. Uh, first impressions, uh, very well made. Um, thick canvas. You've got a couple of um, uh, pockets. Let's see what we got in here. First, oh, I got a whole bunch of cool stuff from Berna, which was actually really nice. Um, this is why this thing is so heavy. <laughs> They've got a personal safety alarm. We got a little extra travel pouch kit, which is cool. And I've got, um, ah, some uh, blood cot, uh, clot control stuff, which is again, very, very cool. Um, that explains uh, why this thing weighs the way, way it does. I, these are Molly locks. I don't know. Cool, very nice surprise. Uh, pocket is, you know, it's got a couple standard pockets on it. It's cool. Okay, this pocket, really um, okay. It's another small pocket. I was hoping maybe that would open up. Uh, this main compartment. All right, so here's some setup directions and yeah, not a ton of storage on this bad boy. So our directions, user's manual, okay, telling us to set up instructions, single hand deployment of the front carry armor. All right, zip side, Starts on both sides. Okay, that's these guys. Okay, that's the deployment. Oh, okay, I get it. All right, so figure out to go a little gift away. Setting up, warning. Please read the Ballista Packs model Survivor One. So again, don't be confused. Berna purchased um, Ballista Packs, so they're using that. Uh, if you don't like the Berna, if you don't like the Berna brand on there, you don't want to do the advertising. You can just take it off and put whatever morale patch on there, which is actually nice that this is not a permanent um, setup. Okay, so what am I looking at here? Um, lift the plate carrier and fold the shoulder straps under the plate carrier's main slide into the main compartment to prevent deployment issues. Ensure the plate carrier is installed straight and shoulder straps are not tangled. Zip side. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what this is because this looks like it's an adjustment. Um, all right. Okay, I don't know what that is yet. We'll get to it. Um, open the open the closing flap and attach deployment strap along the lower border of the closing flap. Failure to attach deployment straps will cause the plate carrier not to deploy on pulling the deployment handle. Okay. All right, so these are adjustable and they are clipped into the bottom of the um, bag, okay? So these clips clip into the, you know, clip into the back, uh, clip into the anchor side here. Uh, okay, 
still I'm gonna set this up for lightweight armor configurations tension reduction strips may be required to assist seamless deployment apply strips to closing flaps as required to keep the backpack stable while deploying i'm assuming these are the strips they're talking about let's just get rid of these real quick. i think um i don't know okay this is a I mean these have got to go down um, grasp a handle for deployment pull front plate carrier and short armor plate carrier all right I'm like I am uh, Removes disposable plastic bags, packing, and install armor plate carrier. All right. Okay, so I'm a little um, confused on this, unless this is coming over my head, which, okay, so we're gonna leave that, leave that on. All right. Okay, I mean, sure. So this thing came off right here. All right. So safe. All right. So putting this on. Okay. It's gonna it's gonna fit me like this. Okay. Cool. All right. I don't know why they have uh, so many detachment points here. Um, but sure, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna fold this in, set it in. Okay, this goes. Here. If I remember how this was set up, I think this goes. Uh, okay, so these definitely go on here, like this. All right. I mean, okay. A little confusing. Again, it's a little really complicated. Um, okay, yeah, you go here, remember, and I think, I mean, it doesn't line up correctly, let's see what the, the, the directions say. Shoulder spreader, plate carrier adjustment, spreader, tri-girdle, um, Closing flap. Okay, really trying to figure out how to set this up again. Um, yeah, so, okay. This goes on here, right? Right. Okay, this was under here. Assuming, yeah, that goes that. That goes that. Okay. Got it. And right here. Right, this still doesn't seem correct. Um, this thing goes on here, this thing goes on here. Okay. Does that seem right? This doesn't seem right to me. I'm really not trying to mess this up. I don't know what the any 
and suggestions. I'm like, okay, this should go like this. Right, okay. This looks right. This looks like it, how it came from the factory. All right, good. Okay, so there's a pull handle here, not to get confused with the deploy handle when you're grabbing it. Uh, you see the backing, it's fine. Uh, let's see about giving it a, uh, giving it a deploy. I got set up. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm trying to get this thing snug. I'm relatively decently built. Now, and this is getting down to like the minimum size. Okay, really hard. Okay, cool. All right, we're set up. Good. So here, let's give it a test deploy and see what this thing looks like. I'm gonna reach back and grab the handle. Okay, not, you know, make sure I'm not grabbing the other one. I pull it straight up and it comes out. Fairly easy. Um, yeah, no problem to deploy. It's uh, it's set up there. Cool. All right, Let's see if we can get this thing set up again. And then, uh, yeah, let's put some armor in it. I will say definitely deploys really easy. Um, finding that, zip this up, zip this up. Okay, let's uh, put some armor in it and uh, see what that looks like.